Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to that. Definitely not definitive. I'm Ken. I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of knuckleheads in love that love Dead by Daylight. We do. Yeah. And so we're getting back to Dead by Daylight. Uh, we're checking out uh, all things Wicked and have heard a lot of great things about this new killer. And we're also going to check out some other stuff we missed, like uh, Alan Wake uh, in the game as well, his spotlight trailer. So, because it's Dead by Daylight. We have a drink. Yeah. This is the killer hookup. Cheers. Cheers. How many pages have I written? The words, the endings. I've lost count. And still, I remain trapped. That was a close transition from like, darkness. keys on a typewriter to like, distance on the... But yeah. this time, something is different. The answer lies just out of reach and shrouded in black fog. I'm closing in now. I must be. Alan makes stuff like you Through mm -hmm. me like blood through a vein. To escape, I must write. Uh oh. Though this new ending remains a mystery. I hold out hope that one day the fog will part. To illuminate. My next chapter. Oh. I don't know why I expected that axe to be like on a block of wood or something like that and set up someone's back and be instead by daylight, but. But you don't often assume the yeah, body. Yeah. I just haven't seen enough bodies with axes in their back. Clutching her hatchet like a favorite toy. The sound of a haunting lullaby fills the air. An axe soars by my head. And suddenly, I'm running for my life. Hmm. The writer's words reverberate across the realm, unfolding a story filled with captivating twists and deadly turns. He faces immeasurable darkness, odds firmly stacked against him, and still he perseveres. The killer has their weapon. But in this writer's hands, a flashlight is as mighty as the pen. What? <laughs> when shining okay. it, he will gain a speed boost, hindering the killer with every successful That's blind. A big person. Mm -hmm. gained. Yeah, I go over her or the hunters, whatever. As a writer conjures plot lines from thin air, so too can he conjure a boon totem. One that provides insight into the environment, revealing the location of generators and chests. And while this boon remains lit, bless or cleanse all other totems with greater speed. Though injured, all is far from lost. When repairing a generator or healing a fellow survivor, skill checks will appear with increased frequency, quickening the pace during those pivotal climactic moments. Oh, nice. Moments. We'll help us out because we just missed those. understand stuff. why this is happening. But having gone from one dark place to another, my eyes are beginning to adjust. Dead by daylight. Oh. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. Make it extra creepy.
Ya me quería hacer. Something about like the Rose Marigold waitress outfit that I like expected her to be creepy and <laughs> like on the killer side. Ooh, a little bit of one looks cool. Ooh. Huh. Hmm. Any architectural plan? Mm -hmm. What? So you're saying you walk through a wall? Maybe she just. Away from the fog. Yeah, see, when you have something like that happening in your home, it's not a good sign. Oh, what's behind her? What the hell is that thing? I don't know, it's creepy as hell. Yeah. Late. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Twitching, it did too. Yeah. Damn. And also, what the hell happened to its neck? I don't know. Eyeless woman. Okay. Yep. Someone twist that neck around. And stretched it. Mm hmm. You couldn't use it.
Those are some cool tattoos. Yeah. It's okay, the Onis was better. Hermori did not disappoint by this one. <laughs> I'm like scarred from that. The the bending over backwards, the like backwards crab walk, the face to face, the cracking of the bones, and then oh yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. Um and poor Steve. Did you do that all to Steve? I know. Yeah, that sucks. Um but very cool uh, killer in this one. Um, when it first, like, when the first All Things Wicked played, I'm like, is this? I wasn't, like, prepared that, like, we went into it because we were already doing Alan Wake. Yeah. And I didn't know, like, uh, when the transition actually happened. And I was like, I don't remember this, like, in being in, the, in any of the trailers that we saw for the for, for Alan Wake. I'm just like, this kind of, like, also getting, like, ring vibes. Like, is she going to look back? And, yeah. and, and like, is she going to? But uh, when the picture came with her, like, in the in the back, didn't even, couldn't even really tell what it was. And you don't even really know until like you get the flash and she's behind you and she's like about Twitch. Yeah, the Twitch was super creepy. <laughs> so like, I both want to say I can't wait to see the lore video on this character. And also <laughs> I really am afraid of what I'm going to see in that lore video. Like the whole neck situation is creeping me out real yeah. bad. Um, and then the fact that she's called the eyeless woman, like I think I was so focused on her neck that I wasn't paying attention to like the full face or or like specific features on the face. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even necessarily put together the fact that she's eyeless. Like I was so focused elsewhere. Um, so between the neck and being like, I'm just very curious what what the story is behind this killer. Yeah, uh, be curious as well. We need to get back into some uh, Dead by Daylight lore. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a lot, lot we've been checking out and, uh, different, the different journeys that we, we've, we've been on. So we'll have to, uh, try to get some, it's been, it's been too long since we've done some Dead by Daylight. So it's nice to get back to it. Yeah, it definitely was. I've missed it. Yeah. And if you want all of our Dead by Daylight reactions, we have a playlist and thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Alan Wake and all things Wicked and Dead by Daylight, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.